I saw someone asking on Facebook about how to make a floating button show and hide as you scroll. So I thought I'd make another example going over scroll gestures with a floating button UI as the example. So the first thing I want to do is make this content scroll. It's inside of a group and I can turn scrolling on on that group by clicking vertical here in the inspector. And I'm just going to jump into the preview and try that out. Now the next thing I want to do is make my scroll behavior. So I'm going to create a new behavior and I've got to select all the relevant parts of my design that are going to be in this behavior. So that would be these buttons here and the scrolling content. I don't need the header, that won't be part of the animation here. So then I'll click the behavior button. Now I'm in the behavior designer and first thing always, think about what states you'll need. So I've got my regular state here, the initial state, and then I need a new state where these buttons are hidden. And so I can do that by just dragging them off the bottom or maybe fading them out. I'll fade them out. Maybe if I scale them down and fade them out, that would look kind of cool. Now, after you have your states created, I'll name this one hidden. After you have the states created, think about how you'll navigate between them. So from the initial state to get to the hidden state, I want that to happen when I scroll down a little bit. I'm gonna set this up so that as I start scrolling, the buttons hide. And so from the scrolling table with that selected, I'll create a link and target the hidden state. The default gesture when you make a link on a scroll group is scroll. So that's good, I'll click done. And I can set this range here. Let me zoom in a bit. And this is how far I'll have to scroll before the buttons uh, hide because I'll, I'll have arrived at the hidden state. And so let's just go with 80. So I've got 80 points here. That's the distance I'll have to scroll before I arrive at the hidden state. Now I'll switch over to the hidden state and I need to figure out how I'll get back to the initial state. And maybe you don't even want to allow a way to get back, but I want to have this so that I can scroll back and forth. So again, I'll create a link with the scroll group selected to the initial state, scroll gesture, and this time it's gonna go in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna click this button in the middle here to flip these values and type in 80, because that's what I used on the incoming link. So now I've got an 80 pixel range going in the other direction. And if I click between here, I can see the animation happening just to check that that looks good. All right, now let's try it in the preview so I can actually scroll to trigger that animation. Cool, so as I scroll through the first 80 points, I arrive at the hidden state where those buttons are hidden. And then as I enter that range from the hidden state, I'm taken back to the initial state. 